in this video, we'll learn how to create and navigate folders. I'd like to point out to you that our computers have as content files and folders. They're not the same. A lot of people get them confused. Files are the content that we create of our data, the things that we want to create and save. So a file could be a spreadsheet. A file could be a legal document. A file could be something visual that we make in Photoshop. A file could be some music we record. Files are our data. It's our content that we care about and that we want to save. Folders are places. A folder is a storage area. A folder is a place like a cabinet in your kitchen where you put things. So in order for us to be able to manage our content, we need to know where to put things. And we can create those folders as we see fit. It's up to us how we arrange them. A folder is not data. A folder is not a file. They're not interchangeable words. A folder is a storage area. Now, I'd like to remind you that in the last video, we ended ourselves looking at my blank flash drive. I'd like to point out to you that my flash drive has a name. It says SFCC Green with the letter F after it. Um, your flash drive is not going to have the same name. Your flash drive will probably have the name that's on the package when you bought it. Unless you or a friend of yours knows how to rename things, then it might have been renamed. But your flash drive is not going to have the same name as mine. And it might not have the same letter. The letter that gets assigned to a flash drive depends on how many things you have plugged into your computer. And I've got um, enough things plugged into my computer that it was assigned the letter F. When you do the homework for this class, um, you might not have a flash drive at all. And if that's the case, you can do the homework in your documents folder or even on your desktop. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to do it on a flash drive because it's nice and tidy. It's neat. It's not crowded. And it will be easy to see what I'm doing. Now, let's say that we want to make some folders to store some student files. So maybe I would like to make a folder for my math work. I will first make sure that I'm on my flash drive. You always go to the place where you want something to happen. That's always your first step. So I have gone to my flash drive. I'll click the Home tab on my ribbon. Then I will click the New Folder button here. And when I do that, the computer creates a new folder for me. Notice that it has this generic name that's not very helpful. If I just leave it called New Folder, I'll have no idea what's inside it. So I will type over that. I will type the word math. And then I'll press my Enter key. And now I have a math folder. That was pretty easy to do. Let's make one for English. I'll click the Home tab on my ribbon. I'll come over here and I'll click on New Folder. And again, I have a new folder. And again, it's been given this generic name. By the way, notice that when I typed, I typed math while this was all highlighted in blue. If you make the mistake of clicking your mouse in here, you see I have a flashing cursor. If I start typing English here, notice that the new folder portion doesn't go away. Now I've got kind of a mess. So I would need to delete that in order to have the proper name of just English. It's always very handy if you do your typing while that blue highlight is still showing. Then you don't have to worry about deleting what was there before that you don't want. Now I have what I want, which is the word English. So now I have a folder for my English class, and I have another folder for my math class. Let's make one more folder. Let's say we also are taking some legal classes, and I want a folder for my legal documents. This time, instead of going to the Home tab on the ribbon, I will take my mouse and I'll click my right mouse button one time. When you click your right mouse button on a Windows computer, it shows you a list of options. And those options will vary depending on what you're pointing at when you click. Because I'm in a file and folder management area, my list of options has to do with the file explorer things and tasks that I'm working with. I would come down here to the word new and point at that. I haven't clicked yet. I just point at it. And when I point at something that has a right arrow, see this right arrow right here? When I point at something that has a right arrow, I get another list of options, a sub list. 
over here, I can make a new folder. So again, I right click in a blank area on the screen. I got my first list of options. I pointed at the word new. And now I'm going to left click on the word folder. And again, I got another new folder with a generic name. And I'm going to start typing while that blue highlight is in place. I'll type LEG for legal and docs for documents. And I will press my Enter key. So now I have three new folders on my flash drive. And I can see them over here also in my navigation pane. Notice that as they appeared here, they also appeared down here. Uh, what's interesting is that they are showing because this down arrow is pointing in that direction. If I click right here, remember how we did that before on the other video? When the arrow is pointing to the right, you don't see what's contained underneath an area. If I want to see the contents of an area in my navigation pane, I need that arrow to be pointing down. And then I can see subfolders in this area. So let's say that in my math folder, I would like to have two subfolders. Let's say I would like to have one folder for my homework and another folder for my in-class notes. Well, the first thing I have to do is I have to go to the place where I want to make the change. Everything That's always your first step. Go to where you want something to happen. At the moment, I'm not inside my math folder. I'm inside just the generic, the general area of the flash drive. So I'll come up here and double click on math. That moves me inside of the math folder. I know that because I see it up here on the address bar. And I also know that because I see that this is highlighted down here. So I want two subfolders for this area. I'll click Home. I'll go to click on New Folder. And I get the New Folder indicator. And I will type Homework. And now I have a subfolder for my math homework. I'll make one more folder for this area. I'll click Home. I'll go to New Folder again. I've got another new folder. And this time, I will type in class notes. And I'll press my Enter key. So now I have three levels of folders here, or of locations. I have my flash drive main location. Underneath that, I've got three subfolders. Notice that the math subfolder has this arrow pointing at it. That's an indication that there's more to be traveled. Whereas the English folder and the legal documents folder, they don't have subfolders. But the math folder does. And if I click that arrow, I'll see my subfolders for the math folder. So it goes from flash drive to first folder list to second folder list. And I can jump back and forth between any of these by clicking on them over here. I can look at this level. And I can jump real quickly to this level if I need to. Or I can click on the flash drive here. And I can move back and forth between them. I can even click up here. I can use the names in my address bar up here to jump back and forth if I want to. These are all different ways that I can navigate from one storage area to another.